he's super, super calm. calm. Like, he was, like he was sitting in the back of his chair, just chilling, <laughs> sipping his coffee. <laughs> but in the inside, his body's just like, yeah, we gotta kill more fucking people. <laughs> like, I cannot wait. Yo, I've literally been waiting for this third episode for like this entire time. Ever since we watched the second one, I was like, yo, we literally, we need to get to this third one ASAP. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dude, that was beautiful. Thank you. I'm already getting goosebumps. This part yeah. always blows my mind, yeah, that they, they hired a criminal who is going to die tomorrow. He was on death row. Oh, boy. <laughs> just chilling. I would not be able to sleep in that bed. <laughs> Yo, this dude, I, I'm i telling you, he's too much. He doesn't even need to do anything. Ready for this? You hungry, Dad? <laughs> do you see who that is? Yeah, that was the dude that was just talking at the that whole conference thing, right? His father is the chief of police. Oh... <laughs> oh, you slick motherfucker. He said, don't worry, Dad, you don't need to say much. <laughs> and since they're on a home network, it's not public, so it can't yeah, be tracked. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Look at him! You smug bastard! <laughs> Just chilling back with his freaking... Man, get out of here! Look at him! So the biggest hit against him being a student was that he would do it at the same time every day. Uh -huh. But he can, you know, schedule it for a different time, essentially. Throw him off track. Makes sense. Oh, no. Snap out of it. Yo, his eyes, though. Yeah, I mean, we don't know what a heart attack feels like, but I, get, I bet it's not great. So he upped the killings. <laughs> He's gonna figure you out real quick. On the surface, it will appear that L and the investigation team are working together to try to catch me. But in reality, L will investigate the police, and they will be investigating L. I'm not the one who's going to find L. I can let the police do that for me. <laughs> Yo, both of these kids are too slick. Yeah, it's, it's, Light is also a genius, you know? Like, clearly L is, yeah. you know? Oh. But they are, like, wow. they're just constantly playing chess, except instead of chess pieces, it's over people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong. The three smartest dudes in the whole show. <laughs> I'd be out. For real, dude. For real, dude. I'd be the same. Second I saw people dropping, I'd be like, uh huh. Um, I'm just gonna. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Hey, you wanna go to the bar or something? But uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be here no yeah. more. Oh he was just oh staring God. at that girl. <laughs> 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 yo, yo, mad, mad creep. creep. His eyeball. Yo, that is, yo, the, that is the definition of a twisted face. Mm -hmm. We brought the FBI to Japan four days ago. They're fully operational. But I forgot a second. I already told you, Dan. You can't talk to me in public. How many times do I have to tell you? In that case, I'll talk. You just listen. If you don't want to hear me, you can plug your ears or something. <laughs> I don't have anything against you. I actually think the notebook couldn't have been picked up by a better person. <laughs> You're being followed by another human. He's watching you right now. What? What?
What? Oh, he's sweating. Uh-oh, he's sweating. <laughs> he's sweating. <laughs> he's like, tough life, bro. <laughs> Right, it's like I man, I know he can't me, see me, but God, God damn it, I, damn it, I feel like, like he's looking at me. Meanwhile, this guy's just creeping around all the time. For real, For real. Just literally just got finished staring, staring into some little girl's <laughs> face, and now he's complaining that he feels like he's being watched. He has as many as fifty people on the case. If I can get rid of him, good. Logging out. Logging out. So if you're a god of death, you're basically cursed to live forever the more people you kill. Yep, yep. Probably something most of them didn't realize beforehand, you know? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making a deal with the devil. Wow. In other words, if you were supposed to live another fifty years, it'd be twenty five. Yeah, that's a big cut. <laughs> yeah. And since you've made it clear you're not on anyone's side, oh that's silhouette. Terrifying. Yo, but why would you even care to do that? Like, oh God, don't tell me he's gonna do it. I hate you. I hate you. Yeah. Why did you get me into the show now? <laughs> Yo, I wanted to see if he was going to do it or not. He's just crazy. Yeah. He's just fucking nuts. Like, this dude, I know for sure, is willing to, like, let's just say he had, I don't know, 15 years left to live. He would definitely be like, yeah, I'll choose seven and a half so that I can see the, see the people's names and kill them. Like... Yeah, the thing about Light is, it's funny, because he is so smart and calm and collected at all times, outwardly, but you know from the inside, he is just a, a full-on psychopath. Oh, for <laughs> sure, dude. Like you, like you said, he's super, super calm. calm. Like, he was, like he was sitting in the back of his chair, just chilling, just chilling <laughs> sipping, his sipping his coffee, but in the inside, but in the inside his body's like, just like, yeah, we gotta kill more fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> like... Literally just oh. like cackling at all times from the inside out. Like literally, like, literally the, inside the inside of his body is, is what the, the Shinogami looks like. <laughs> it's just death and black. It's all twisted up and everything. Like, cool. All right. Well, um, we'll see what happens next time, huh? I guess so. I guess so. All right. Well, as always, Jay and Prex, it's a pleasure. Looking forward to episode four next time. Let's get to it. All right. Thank you for tuning in. This is Will Describe.